The road we're on is paved in Garth. Come along on the journey. As we explore Garthology. Think of it more as a conversation. I like that. So if this is truly a conversation, then I say let the conversation begin. Hey everyone, it's Deb. Welcome to the newest installment of Garthology, where we dive deep into the life and legacy of country music icon Garth Brooks. Today I'll be discussing a cool new item about to drop. It's Garth's latest anthology release, the Anthology Part 4. Going Home, which will be out just in time for the holidays. Now, this isn't just another anthology, though. Going Home is packed with stories and photos that give us an intimate look at what Garth calls the 14 years I'll always remember. These were the years that he spent in Oklahoma, away from the spotlight, and most importantly, being the dad he always wanted to be. In Garth's own words, those 14 years of my life are the ones I'll always remember. It was life at its best. I learned to be a dad, my girls got to know me, and I'd never for one second regret walking away from a career in order to find all of that. Now these words remind us that while Garth is a superstar, he's also a father who valued his family above fame. For those who have followed his journey, this anthology is like pulling back the curtain on some of the most private and meaningful moments of his life. The anthology part four doesn't just feature Garth's voice. It brings in stories from his close circle during those years, like his wife Trisha, of course, as well as the friends they met when their children were growing up. During that time, they formed bonds that are as important to Garth as any stage he's performed on. Alongside these stories, the anthology also includes six discs packed with tracks from the Lost Sessions, Blame It All on My Roots, Five Decades of Influences, as well as some of Garth's original cuts from his early days at Capitol Records. This is a treasure trove for fans, capturing the essence of the music that has defined his career. So where does Going Home start? It takes us back to October 26, 2000. Garth was at a Nashville gala with Capitol Records celebrating the incredible milestone he had reached of selling over 100 million albums. During that press conference, he surprised everyone in the room by announcing his retirement. Can you imagine the shock that day? a performer at the top of his game stepping away. Truly amazing. This volume doesn't just tell us about that moment. It gives us an insider's perspective on what was running through Garth's mind, as well as the reactions from those closest to him. For those of you who might not be familiar, the anthology book series as a whole is a journey through Garth's legendary career. It's filled with stories, not only from Garth, but from those who were part of the journey. Bandmates, songwriters, industry insiders, and of course, family and friends. Garth calls it liner notes on steroids. And that just feels like the perfect description. Each hardbound volume is packed with rare and never-before-seen photos, along with discs filled with music, live performances, demo versions, and hits that have defined decades of country music. I have the first three volumes, and I love them. I will pick up any one of them at any time to just reread stories that I've read in the past. If you're a Garth fan or simply someone who appreciates a good story, about life's most meaningful moments. This installment seems like it's going to be a must-have. Because, again, for Garth, it's not just about the music. 
It's about the man behind the music, as well as the journey he took to find his way back home. That seems like it's so inspiring for all of us, even if we haven't gone through all of the things that Garth has. So as the holidays approach, the Anthology Part 4, Going Home, could be the perfect gift for the Garth Brooks fan on your list. Or even for yourself. I know I've already pre-ordered it. It can be pre-ordered now at TalkShopLive.com. That's T-A-L-K-S-H-O-P-L-I-V-E dot com. That's it for today's episode. Thanks again for tuning in to Garthology. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to subscribe and follow us for more on the music and memories of Garth Brooks. Until next time, thanks for listening. Have you checked out our website at Garthology.com yet? If not, stop by today. And like I said, be sure and hit that subscribe button on your podcast platform of choice so that you never miss a Garthology episode. If you listen on Apple Podcasts, it's been a long time since our last review. So if you get the chance, hit that five-star button if you like what you hear, and then write up a review to encourage others to listen too. Be sure and share us with everyone you know. That way you can help your friends in low places become Garthologists too. And don't forget to stop by all of our social media accounts to let us know how excited you are about the Anthology Part 4. On Facebook, we can be found at facebook.com forward slash GarthologyCast. And on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and Threads, we are also at GarthologyCast. This has been Season 5, Episode 27 of Garthology, and I'm Deb, and I'll see you next time. And remember, love will always win. Bye! Finish it!